Hello, welcome to day four of our monthly challenge. Today is all about faux calls. If you haven't seen the rest of this project, then there are links to the other days. You want to start at the beginning, but this is basically a little mini series to just get us creating each and every day. We'll have a finished project at the end of our seven days, but if all you can give is 10 minutes each day, then hopefully you can give yourself that treat of just a little bit of art time just for you and remember at the beginning of the week we also had the theme given to us by Auntie Ro I believe it was um, all about renewal so that's what we're going to be focusing on today or is the focus of our vocals in our mini journal is all about renewal okay my love let me just give you a quick flip through of where I got to yesterday You'll see it's very light with the composition yesterday. It's just a little hint of where I may want to place the elements for today. There is something on each page, but nothing is kind of overpowering. There's space to put things, and there's kind of um, a roadmap of where I may want to place things. And as I said to you, I may use some natural elements that I gathered earlier on in the week. They seem dry enough, and this is also the reason why I didn't add more pages to my journal and overstuff the, the box. So that if I wanted to add some elements that are more 3D, then I've got a little bit of space to grow. So these are baby daisies, da daisies, daffodils that I picked earlier on in the week. I think these are flowers from Red Currants. I've got some primroses and I've got some hellebores which may be too big for this little matchbox here. But I do want to keep true to our challenge and our theme for this week of renewal and incorporating some natural elements if at all possible. You may have some dried flowers or some dried leaves. I have plenty of those in the studio or feathers or whatever you have. Maybe one thing you could do today as part of the challenge is go on a little walk and pick some flowers if you if it's possible for you where you live and you can dry them or you can put them in books to press them and give it a week or so until they are dry before you add them into your journal so for today what you could do as part of your focal is leave space on one or two pages where you may want to come back and add a natural element you don't have to do this challenge all in seven days you know although it's a seven day challenge and I would like you to do you know at least 10 minutes of art every day with us you could come back and carry on with this journal long after the seven days are up another thing I'm going to do is look for some collage elements I've already started picking some out of this book oops where did that go that screams to me spring renewal but is also small enough to go in in my little book I may also draw an element or two as well, focal, but this is the um, challenge really with going mini, particularly when you're looking for collages, finding things that are going to be of the right size as well to fit. Ooh, here's some nice spring colours. Ooh, I killed the beetle. Ah, beetle down.
the focus is for today to get some kind of focal on every page but I don't want you all stressing out thinking that you've got to make something perfect and you know really amazing on each and every page for instance this has just got some acrylic stencil one of these this one in fact this kind of like flowery mandala shape and it can be really a simple thing such as I'm just going to go round parts of the stencil and for this focal I'm just going to put that in the middle so I don't want you to stress too much that every page has to have something absolutely amazing and incredible on it so don't stress yourselves out over complicate or overthink things just because I've called things <laughs> you know a focal which I think can sometimes you know freeze people up a little bit all it really means is just where's your eye going to be drawn on that page that's it and don't forget monthly challengers to post your pictures in the monthly challenge group to be entered into the giveaway to win any class that you want on journal workshops we have this giveaway every single month so you've quite good chances if you are going to be a regular participant in the monthly challenge group i don't think i've even mentioned that the monthly challenge group is actually a free group <laughs> that might be a bit silly of me to get to the end of day four and to have not mentioned that but it's a free group on my journal workshops community so come into the tribe if you are not already a member of the monthly challenge group um, and don't worry about posting pictures etc it is a private space i don't get you to post pictures to promote my facebook or instagram or share this like this etc it's not about that it's just about getting your participation so that you feel a connection to other creative soulmates that is the main purpose of the monthly challenge group i hope you guys come along that are not already in the monthly challenge group if you are in the monthly challenge group all videos will be posted together for you and this is not the first time we have done a challenge like this we've also done other seven day art journaling challenges so if you like that format head on over and check it out in the monthly challenge group there is now oh my god i've just realized this is the anniversary this month is the anniversary of the monthly challenge group it started in april eight years ago happy birthday <laughs> monthly challenge group eight years there is eight years of archived videos for you to go through should you want to binge them or do one a day one a week you can adapt it as you want to it's a massive resource now so if you are not in the monthly challenge group i hope you will be soon much love everybody i'll see you tomorrow bye